Now the question is consider the relation 4L square minus 5M square plus 6L plus 1 equals 0. Then this line LX plus NY equals to 1 touches a fixed circle. We have to find center and radius of this circle. So we are given this line LX plus NY equals 1. Now let this circle be X square plus Y square plus 2GX plus 2FY plus C equals 0. Now center is minus G minus F and radius is under root of g square plus f square minus c. Now this line, it is tangent to this circle. That means perpendicular distance from the center must be equal to its radius. So we can write minus lg minus mf plus 1 upon under root of l square plus m square and that will be equal to its radius which is under root of g square plus f square minus c. Now we'll square it. L square G square plus M square F square plus 1 plus 2 LMGF minus 2 LG minus 2 MF and it will be equal to g square l square plus g square m square plus f square l square plus f square m square minus c l square minus c m square. Now here g square l square will cancel and m square f square will also cancel. So we can rewrite this as f square minus c l square plus g square minus c m square minus 2 ln gf plus 2 gl plus 2 mf minus 1 equals 0. Now what we will do is we will make it plus 1 because in the condition we have given it as plus 1. So we will change the sign of each term. So here it will be this plus 1. So this is minus minus plus this is minus g square plus c and minus f square plus c. I will compare it with the given condition which is 4L square minus 5M square plus 6L plus 1 equals 0. And we compare this plus 1 plus 1. So we get C minus F square equals 4. C minus G square equals minus 5. Now there is no term containing m, so that means f must be 0. So from here we get f as 0. c equals 4 and if we put c as 4, we will get g as plus or minus 3. Now we compare this 6l with minus 2gl, we will get this g as minus 3. So value of g is minus 3. So once we have G, F and C, center of the circle is minus G minus F. So here G is minus 3, F is 0 and C is 4. So equation of the circle will be X square plus Y square minus 6X plus 4 equals 0. And center is at 3 comma 0 and its radius is root 5. And that's your option C. Now the second one is number of tangents which can be drawn from the point 2 comma minus 3. So we'll find S1. So there'll be 4 plus 9, 13, 13 minus 12 plus 4, which is positive. So this point it lies outside. So that means two tangents can be drawn. So answer to the second question is this option C. Now third one is from this point two tangents are drawn P A and P B. And we have to find the value of P A into P B. Now P into P B is basically under root S1 square. So this is under root 5 and under root 5. So it will be simply 5 and that's your option B.